brain's not working, hun. It's not? Fine. Not fully. Hello. Why wouldn't your brain be working? I mean, you just got over a three-day water fast. Technically, how many hours? Well, 12. 12 hours. 12 hours. 23 hours. 23 hours on, to clarify, only water. Only water. Got my water. Hour 40, <laughs> and I feel really good. I'm 46 hours in, and uh, I'm... Start. I'm hungry. 60 and a half. I'm so tempted. You're at Calling the towel. Calling the towel. Calling, calling the towel. That is how much you need freaking food for your brain alone. 86. 86 hours. This girl just like pulled it off. Give Lars some love in the comments. And she's about to eat for the very first time. Yes. In that many hours. So I guess overall in this video, we're going to cover why you should consider a water fast. Why? Tell me why I'm doing it. Why? To kill the gut and the microbiome <laughs> and reset the digestive system and... All the good things. There's yeah, lots you, of health benefits. I mean, benefits. I mean, your <clears throat> your upcoming recipe recipes are gonna be pretty easy, right? Just add water. I mean, I didn't do it, but she did. It's okay. It's not for everyone. Nope. But also, what I learned going through it. Yeah. What can you expect when you go through a water fast like this? And is it right for you? Because it's not right for everyone. I. Yeah. It, he didn't need to do it. I wanted to do it. I, on happens. the other hand, have had enough calories today to, to for the both of us. We're gonna go through like the hardships of this. Like, was it hard? Yeah, I think so. And then if I would do it again, would I do it again? We we'll have to find out. Let's see. Yep. Well, for me, I love like experimenting and learning about health and the body. Not with like diets though. Like you don't like experiment with lots of crazy random stuff, even though this seems crazy to me. Right, but like just getting my body in the best health yeah. that it can mm -hmm. be. So I love researching and learning about that kind of stuff. Um, and I've always been really interested about the gut because I am very sensitive to a lot of foods. I don't eat gluten. I'm not allergic or I don't have celiac, but I know that I'm gluten intolerant. So I totally stay away from it. Um, and I feel like there's maybe some other foods that I'm sensitive yeah. to. There's gotta be, um, but I don't really know what those are. And so I just kind of wanted to reset the gut, mm -hmm. get all the good microbiome. The biome. The microbiome. The microbiome. Get rid of the bad bacteria. And fasting is a good way to do that. It resets mm -hmm. the digestive system, cleans out the gut. And you know, there's benefits anywhere from like 24 hours to seven days will get you really yeah. good benefits. Obviously, the further you go, the more benefits you'll see than that seven days of no food. Yeah, that's insane. Uh, three days gave you a really solid result. Result. So I guess long term, like, do people see like short term and long term? Like, can somebody you expect to see like an immediate like after they fast? Short term, yeah, there's definitely like, you just feel better. You feel yeah. lighter, you feel good. Um, but I've also heard that it can be like months yeah. of benefits yeah. and that you can totally reset. And even um, another big one is autoimmune diseases, which mm -hmm. I'm, I'm pretty interested in with our son having yeah. juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. Um, I always like to research and learn about autoimmune diseases. Yeah. And I've heard that doing these fasts can, can really help, help people with autoimmune diseases. A lot of like the health of the body and the immune system actually starts in the gut. From, yeah. well, from all the research we've done and people we've talked to and stuff like that. And so that's, a, you know, a big reason as well. It's not like you're trying to say, okay, now I'm like curing my gluten intolerance or anything like that. But like, I think for you, you're always trying to improve your health and do anything you can to like improve that yeah. and experiment. Especially like, you know, as you've seen, you know, we've seen like our son who, Lara really changed, I, I think she changed his life forever by his diet because mm -hmm. as a small little boy, he was, diagnosed with juvenile arthritis in his knees and like you've like, cured him of that based on the food that you've given him. So, um, okay. So, so yeah, I'm a firm believer that food is, mm -hmm. can be like medicine. And I think this idea of giving the digestive system a break yeah. and lack of food uh -huh. can also be very beneficial. Yeah. So, so what so. can we expect? What can, like, what is this like? How, I mean, you, if you follow Laura on Instagram, you've, you've kind of seen the journey. And I'm not hungry. Not feeling good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have fur waxes on my hands and legs. 
Maybe I have a spinal cord injury. So I think honestly day one was hard because your body's so used to eating and so when you're not giving yeah. it that food, it's like, hey, where, come on, like you've been giving me food yep. every three hours for your entire life. We're 40 and I am I just haven't been hungry, which is really weird. I'm one of those people who eats every three hours and I can't even fathom forgetting lunch or like I don't forget to eat. I'm always very regimen, scheduled, three hours what I like to stick into. Yeah, I feel really good that way. My head was pounding last night. Had a really bad headache. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Let's go to Worth bed. Worth it? I'll wake up. Worth it? Yeah, totally. But it, once I fell asleep, I was fine. Woke up feeling good. Um, my head has been totally fine today. I do feel a little bit um, weak, like my arms feel very weak. I have gotten a couple times where it's like I stand up and everything kind of goes black for a minute. I can't see anything. So like that lightheadedness a little bit. So that was hard and I did have some serious hunger pains that yeah. day. We went to the gym, like. We went to the gym every day. I did do legs, but I just did machines where I didn't have to hold anything in my hands because I knew my hands and arms felt really weak. Um, I didn't do cardio like between my sets, which I normally am doing like jump squats or jumping jacks or something to kind of keep my heart rate up. I didn't do any of that. So I just focused on like weights for my legs. Um, and then I just got done with a fascia rolling class, which they're amazing on their own, but I feel like with doing this water fast, it's really gonna like help flush everything out, get all those detoxing toxins out and all of that kind of stuff. Towards the evening though is yeah. when it really hit me, where I had massive headache yeah. that was so bad. It's not day one. It's all a blur, forget. right? There's a lot of brain fog. I this forget. is one of the side effects of this. Like you could, like your speech was like, eh. You're it. You... Reset the digestive system and yeah. Does this make you irritable? But I'm very weak. I have He's like my arms are so weak and I haven't Bobbit been productive. Stop. Okay, so there's a chance I'm also a little irritable. Yeah, I'll say. I mean, I was just trying to call <laughs> Eminem and you freaked out at me. I mean, maybe a couple times. <laughs> couple times. But I will say, Lara, like there was actually one time when <laughs> I feel like normal. Like she's an amazing mom, but like normal Lara would have probably like got after the kids a little more. But like you just like, I felt like there was times you didn't even have the energy to be like. Didn't even care. No, you're just, just like, I don't care. So my house is, I haven't cleaned. That's, yeah. But it's, the thing that impressed me about Lara, you guys, is she still like did her everyday thing. She wasn't that irritable. And she really wasn't. we went to the gym. This is not helping my current situation. It's like one of my favorite dinners. And I'm not gonna have any of it. And Isn't I love this you woman a lot. amazing? I mean, like the chimichurri kay. sauce that goes with this. It, it's so, it's so freaking good. good. But pork tenderloin with this like chimichurri amazing sauce. She does all this while she hasn't eaten in how many days? I think I'm at like 45 hours. And I took care of all of the food. I think the whole time, right? Yeah, except for that one night at Hot and Ready. Exactly. That we go out for the boys, uh, but. So the headaches were a hard thing, and then I did get severe <laughs> hunger pains in waves. Yeah, that you would, would come. yeah. But they'd only last about 10 minutes, and then they'd go So away they can expect some time. headaches, they can expect some, a lot of weakness. Like, you're pretty weak. And very weak, He's yes. Weak. Easy, heavy. easy. Like, to get rid of your headaches, like, your body craves electrolytes, so mm -hmm. um, what did you do to get rid of those headaches? So what I did was, Got some water and I put half a teaspoon mm -hmm. of salt in it. And then I also took some magnesium, two magnesium pills, which yeah. I think equaled how many milligrams? I don't know. Brain fog, guys. Uh, that would like get rid of your headache quick. So if you're gonna do this, like you do a half teaspoon to like a cup of water basically, it's yeah. magnesium. Mm -hmm. And that like literally, that would, that, that it's crazy how fast that worked for you. So throughout the whole time, mm -hmm. I did three cups of bone broth. And I mm -hmm. started that on day three actually. 
Um, I had two cups yesterday and then I had a cup this morning. Um, and that helped. I feel like that helped to get yeah. some of those electrolytes back and the salt content. Yeah. I think that I would do it again. Um, not for I, fun, not just like, oh, that was fun, let me do it again. But if there was a health yeah, benefit sure. mm -hmm. or a health reason that I needed, needed it, yeah. then I would do it again. Cause it really actually wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. It was hard. It was hard. Yeah. But I did it. And so if there was a need, I would for sure do it again. And like we said, it's not maybe right for everyone, but if yeah. there's, if you can tell that your gut maybe needs some extra love, I think mm -hmm. this is a good way to show it. Okay. Just give it a break, let it take vacation. Yeah. We all need a vacation every once in a while, so does your gut. Gives your gut a vacation. Okay, so let's dive into your food now. We're gonna about to, you're about to eat. I know. For the first I'm time. I'm a little nervous, <laughs> but I'm excited to get energy again. Okay, so I am gonna start with some apple cider vinegar. Um, the reason for that is because I want to introduce acid into the stomach. Um, and I also want to prep my gut for breaking down any food that I'm gonna be introducing today. Um, so this is a good way to get that kind of prebiotic, get my stomach start figuring out what to do. So I'm gonna do a little less than a tablespoon in some water. And I'm gonna drink this and then about 10 to 15 minutes later is when I'm going to eat for the first time in, it's been 86 hours. And you gotta get, make sure you get the mother. You always want the mother. The mother, mother knows best. The mother, the mother. I don't think this is gonna feel very good, eating food. Well, why? Because you're basing off this garbage? You're not really excited to eat, are you? I'm not very excited. I'm excited to get energy back, but I'm not excited about this process. The refeeding is what it's called. Yep. It's hard to swallow. Ah, boom. Okay. Moment of truth, Lars. It's been Moment of truth. 12 minutes since I had my apple cider vinegar and it's mm -hmm. doing all the things I think. I think it's getting all prepped. Yes. For this. So I researched quite a bit yeah. about what to eat uh, because I wanted to do this part right. Nothing is sounding good right now, by the way, right? Food wise, like you're just not very hungry. Right. Nothing. I mean, this is sounding the best of the different things that I've thought of. Sour so I did, I did quite a bit of research. Um, some people were saying, yes, eat chicken. Other people were like, no, do not eat meat for two days. Some were saying, eat fruit. Others were like, no, too much sugar content. But the... That's are you excited? Stinks. So Sour there were a that, couple... Oh my gosh. There were a couple things that... Everyone was like, these are good options. Sauerkraut and avocado. Because sauerkraut is so good. Fermented food is so good for your gut. And my gut needs all of the good things right now. That's why I did this. True. It's a big moment, Lars. I know, I'm a Drum little nervous. Roll. Okay. This sauerkraut. That literally, that's, if you guys had sauerkraut? Had yes sauerkraut or no in the comments, sauerkraut fans? I used to eat it like every day, like a little for the, bit. For the gut, right? For the gut. She did. She, so, yeah, she, you, she, you did have a, it really does stink. Here's the thing though, because, because not, because it's just very tangy. Mm -hmm. You gotta listen, listen to my body. intuitive eating guys. Mm -hmm. You gotta listen to your body. So now for the avocado, I'd be stoked about this if I were you. I am excited. A little salt on there. Oh yeah. First real food you put in your mouth. That's just. So I haven't used my like it. jaw. You're like, oh. It's this like, is oh hard. yeah. <laughs> I haven't used my jaw in 86 wow. hours. So. Okay. This is good. I don't. You're full? I don't know. I don't know how far to go because I don't want to be yeah. sick. So this has been a really interesting experience for me. Yeah. Um, all in all, now that you're done, and it's hard to know because like maybe you'll see the lasting benefits of it or benefits with your 
your gut and your stomach down the road, but like, would you do this again? That's the question. Yeah, it was not as hard as I thought you it would be. You would do it again though. If I needed to for health purposes, okay. not just like, hey, that yeah, was fun. Fast. Yeah. Wow, but for that's purposes, saying a lot, because I know that was not easy. It wasn't easy, but it honestly was not as bad as I thought it was. You just like weren't hungry, you were just weak. And I think microbiome's are My right. microbiome is just great. You know, Our one of the exact. nights, I mean, I think my microbiome got reset when we had that Little Caesars the other night with the boys. I don't we think that's how it yet. works. Is that I mean, not? Something was reset without Pod Ready. 